Hey everyone, um, so the kids are outside playing. Today's a busy day, um, like most days are in our life. Um, laundry's going, dishes, I'm getting the dishes from lunch and the last few from last night done up because we baked some cookies last night. And then I got, okay, so we had Eva's basketball camp. She has to be there at 8.15 in the morning. Um, friend comes over and chit chats for a little while in the morning. So we're waiting until her daughter's also in there. And then we um, have pick up at 10. Journey has basketball camp at 10.15. It's just the basics for um, youngsters. Then we come home and we have lunch. They're outside playing right now. We have Journey has a softball game tonight. Yes, that little girl, I have to keep her busy. Or we have lots of meltdowns and other stuff. Did you get muddy, honey? Go get a washcloth and clean off. And then go back outside and play. Um, if she doesn't have some structure in her life, she has some major meltdowns. Um, yeah, you can, yeah, you can use one of those. That's fine. Um, so right now I'm finishing my coffee. Yeah, it is 12 o'clock and I'm just now finishing my last cup of coffee, but coffee is life. If I don't have my coffee, I, I don't do well. Um, but, um, so I will wash my dishes real quick. Um, and then I will, so since we have a softball game and it's about a 20 minute drive to that softball field, which probably sounds like a far, far away for some, but that's actually not that far. It is two towns over for us. Um, but that will be where we're going tonight. What, hun? Your shoes don't worry about. Okay. So. Okay, you guys can have popsicles. That's fine. Um. Um, but sorry. Um, kids are going to be interrupting because they're outside playing. It's summer break. But I don't know how much of a break this mama's getting. Because it's been crazy the last few days. Last week was supposed to be my off week before activities started. And we had a kitchen remodel that was impromptu. It was supposed to be a weekend project where I painted cabinets and put on some new cab um, countertops and that was it. Well, that weekend project. I need to sleep, but it's muddy. Well, find somewhere else to play then. Um, you're gonna hear kids screaming in the background. That's just what it's gonna be. Um, but so tonight we have spaghetti and meatballs. So I made the meatballs the other night when I was prepping all the meat. And what I did was I took Italian pork or Italian sausage, pork sausage, um, Italian pork sausage, um, breadcrumbs, eggs, and, um, some seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, Himalayan salt if, if I have it usually is what my go-to for a lot of this is. Um, I do use a iodized salt in some things, but I really like the health benefits of Himalayan salt, so I use that in a lot of stuff nowadays. Um, but so those will go in the crock pot and I will make sauce. I'm getting my coffee pot cleaned up for tomorrow. So it's ready to go. But Sorry, we got a shot of coffee pot. So, I'll make my coffee. Get the coffee pot out. Um, I always make my coffee the day before, have it all set up and ready to go. So I can, um, 
just get up, plug it in, and press start. And go to the I go to the bathroom and stuff while it's cooking or brewing. And then I go and have some have my coffee about 15 minutes after I wake up. I get my first cup. Um, but, um, but um, I have a coffee canister, but it didn't hold the last of this. So I'm going to finish this coffee up. That's empty. I hate throwing these away or not keeping these for something fun, but my pack rat um, hoarding tendencies I'm trying to work on. So, if you have any great tips for these, we've used them for pots before, like flower pots, spray painted on them, that kind of stuff. But if you have any great tips for these, I go through a lot of this. But um, I try to message teachers and see if they need them for anything. So, I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee and then we will get our spaghetti sauce going. Um, go to is like Prego um, or Ragu or one of those sauces. Those are loaded with sugar and other nasty stuff. I, I don't even, my kids won't even touch the stuff now that they've had my homemade tomato sauce. Now you can take and get the tomatoes, cook them down and make the sauce that way. And I have done that before. I've done that many times in the past. But right now I'm in a season of my life that I need it. Sorry about the screaming, they're outside playing. Um, season in my life where I need just a little more convenience. So this is grown here in the USA. And the only thing in this is tomato, sea salt, and some dehydrated onions and garlic. And a little bit of sweet bell pepper. Um, they used to have a brand that was just straight tomatoes. I liked it better. Sam's Club doesn't have that in the big cans anymore. But this is non-GMO. And um, there's no BPA in the lining, which is a big deal for me. I don't like BPA and I don't like soy. So as long as those aren't in the products, we're good to go. Those are my two logos. Um, we'll open this can up. Well, and I froze the meatballs. So those are nice and frozen and ready to go. And this is really actually very easy to make. Um, it's a family favorite. Well, meatballs or regular spaghetti. Well, my son, 17th birthday is coming up on the 7th and he wants spaghetti, just regular spaghetti for his birthday. So that's what we're having. We eat a lot of pasta around here for a family that has no Italian in them. That is a staple. I'm gonna set this right over here in the sink until I need it. Okay, so move the sauce over. One downfall to a small kitchen. There's not a lot of space. Um, so we'll bring the crock pot over here. Can you still see me? Bring the crock pot over here, plug it in. Now this I usually do on a big pot on the stove. Um, I'm move you again. Usually do this in a big pot on the stove, but since we have a game tonight, we're gonna do it this way. My bowls, I kept put in a metal pan. And they were frozen. I let them thaw out overnight. So this does take a little bit of preparing to meal prep. Now they were browned lightly on all sides. They are still pink in the middle, so I would not eat these, but they are, well, you could eat them, but they're not ready to go right this minute. Okay, now, 
as you can see, we eat a lot of meatballs. Now that's, I think, three pounds of meat. Um, I have one little girl who's very picky. And this is a favorite, and I'm guaranteed that she'll eat this. She doesn't eat a lot of food. So for her to eat and love these, I have to make extras for her. Now, I take the sauce, I put it in like this. I get some water and rinse as much out of the can as possible. And like I said, you can do this. You can get your own tomatoes and cook them down. Um, some people like a little bit of paste to thicken it. I don't find that a paste is necessary. I put it on low right now. We're gonna start with my seasoning that I have on the counter. We do just a little bit, about a pinch. Like this will all be stuff that you have to measure for your batch, but a pinch of red pepper flakes. And you could make a batch this big and freeze a big chunk of it. Some Himalayan salt. And my meatballs have seasoning in them too, so it, the sauce doesn't need quite as much because it will absorb a lot of the flavor. Um, if I had garlic, this is where I'd put actual garlic in. Um, I don't. So I'll use garlic powder and onion powder. Now the garlic powder also, I just, I just sprinkle it in and I don't measure anything because you may like a lot of garlic and someone else might not. It's kind of what you know your family will use. And then onion powder, which you can put actual onions in if that's how your family, my family would not eat this if it had chunks of onions in it. My family is really picky. Just a little black pepper. And then Italian seasoning. Now you need quite a bit of this because it's not spaghetti without Italian seasoning. And the Italian seasoning is oregano, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage. Um, and M-A-R-J-O-R-A-M. I'm not sure what that is. But I don't, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Now, this is the secret. A pinch of sugar. It's not real, real sauce without just a tiny bit of sugar. So, that is my sauce. That is how I make it. Um, it never tastes exactly the same because I don't measure anything, but my kids never complain that it doesn't taste the same. Um, I do not use plastic spoons in my sauce. I use wooden spoons. For some reason, when I think of spaghetti, I think of the old Italian woman standing, not old, but the Italian grandma standing in front of a big pot with a wooden spoon, stirring it away. So that's where that probably came from. But so this is my sauce. And if I make it on the stove, it will cook for at least an hour. The longer, the better. It gets more flavors, more juices. This is good for eight hours if it cooks that long, depending on how late the game is and all of that. But that's my spaghetti sauce. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you learned something new and something fun. And this is just how I do my life. I cook for my family. I cook a lot of from scratch. So please join us and watch what we do. Um, and watch for the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.